Yeah, I mean, the pandemic hit me hard, man. There's a lot of people that, uh, I mean, they started businesses through COVID. Uh, they didn't relapse. They jumped on the virtual bandwagon. Uh, you know, into oh, everybody that made it through unscathed, my hat's off to you. That just wasn't my story, man. At first, I was good. You know, I was all Joey motivational and I was at home with my kids and, you know, doing all the indoor dad activities like, hey, look, we set up a tent in the living room. And, you know, I was just, <laughs> and, and for a few weeks there, it was okay. And then, uh, you know, a couple bad days turned into a couple bad weeks, turned into a couple bad months. Um, and I just started to lose hope and I really gave up. I didn't pivot well. Um, and here's my, my, this is my personal thing, right? So I don't do things with, I don't do well with things like quarantine, uh, contactless, uh, isolation. Um, you know, I, I don't do well with that because I wasn't, I, that's how I drank and used. I, you weren't going to catch me at a social hour, a happy hour, fraternizing with some dude's wife. Uh, you weren't going to catch me at a frat party playing beer pong. I was going to get my pills. I was going to get my booze and I was going to go home and drink until I black out. Um, and when I became sober, I became very social, you know, even became a speaker. I travel, I travel the country now and you know, I do speaking events in front of 500 to a thousand people. And I conversate and, um, you know, socialize with them afterwards and, and COVID took all that away from me and I didn't pivot. I didn't handle it well. And, you know, eventually I ended up uh, picking up some pills and a drink and things got pretty dark there for a while. Was it also the time you were having some medical issues too? And that's how the pills came about. Am I correct in that? Yeah. So, uh, you probably can't see it, but I got a nice size scar on my neck here. I ended up having a, um, post anterior cervical discectomy. So they basically cut my neck open, took out one of my cervical discs, put in a replacement, put a couple screws in a small, um, metal uh, frame in there and put me all back together because I was having a lot of pain going into my shoulder, down my arm and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, I started off with the safest method of treatment, nothing at all. You know, some cor some cortisone injections and some Medrol packs and some ibuprofen. Uh, and then, uh, you know, it was really bad. And I was like, all right, you know, maybe I'll try just a little bit of tramadol. Uh, and then I realized that, you know what, if you take four or five, 600 milligrams of tramadol, it kind of feels like Percocet. Uh, and then eventually, you know, they gave me some Norco and then some Norco turned into some Percocet and then 10 milligrams a day, all of a sudden became 80 milligrams a day again. And, um, you know, just it, it, it's looking back to my drinking and using history when I was 12 years old, I've never wanted just one of anything. And if I was trying to control my drinking and using, I wasn't enjoying it. And if I was enjoying it, I certainly wasn't controlling it. So I don't know why I've always been so obsessed with that. You know, maybe this time will be different because it never is.